Hello and welcome to the Necrovision test post. Um, basically now I'm just trying to verify that I can... It's unbelievable. First hand-to-hand -hand fight of the war is with a madman who's on my side. Basically that I can oh, this whole place sync up like a the slaughterhouse. audio with the video. I'm not waiting for night to get the hell out of here. Come through okay, that I sound all bleh. Um, but yeah, um... Damn, an ambush! I'm not really sure... Yeah, I'll probably gotta get away from this gas. Later on, there will be a script Am I only way out? Be better Straight into the lion's mouth. Um, as of right now, just uh, trying to make sure that I can play the video and play the sound that I can record myself audibly. Um. Hmm. Especially right now, we're. Fighting the mighty German army as they uh, rush at us blindly. Uh, one guy's obviously stuck on a box, and I have helped him, which is obviously very um, poor programming, I suppose. But uh, this is a quality game with quality clipping and so many other issues, but. I figured I'd give it a try. Try to uh, show all you beautiful people out there how great of an experience this was to play initially and a again, because this is obviously not uh, not a first time run. Gotta blow this thing if I want to get through. And blow he will, because uh, this guy never never shuts up. Literally, it's in endless string of hillbilly one-liners and other colloquialisms colloquialisms express train to hell. yeah express train to hell that's great uh, also the the aiming in this is not the the best the iron sights honestly are more of a hindrance especially with the the rifles it's better just to blind sight and uh, try to match up everything with the crosshairs rather than zoom in with the iron sight. So uh, right now I'm heading through uh, the first secret of the game. This is madness. Which is this a deadly rather a dead confusing lane. little uh, shooting gallery Just shoot the here. Focus down. You, you're basically getting swarmed here repeatedly with, uh, with German soldiers, and the problem is that they are really not your focus here. The focus is those semi-transparent uh, biplanes zooming through the air. There is a god. Maybe he's showing my way out of here. Now Basically, let's get that can, frightened bastard home. You can Should ignore still a chance. all those soldiers and Goodbye, just um, take out the planes and then move on. It's not even really much of a secret. You don't really get much for it. Maybe a couple of extra bullets. That's about it. So uh, now we're continuing through uh, trench warfare, as the stage is called, and exemplified here by the trenches. Very original, I suppose. Um, yeah, World War One was really a pioneer with uh, meat grinders. I can just stay alive. Get through that damn and, gas uh, over no man's land. Back to the British lines. Yeah, trench warfare really was. I mean, it's an odd idea to think about now, but I guess so was quote unquote guerrilla warfare to a point. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of killing semi innocent uh, soldiers here. They're just kind of probably confused as I am as uh, to why uh, why there was a gas attack and why everybody was cut off. And I mean, uh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I gotta get through obviously that on the actual the only way out of this video, there, all these cutscenes will be in here, but yeah, basically there's uh, th there's been people rising out of the ground and the detonator must be in general there. General terror. I always hated goddamn hospitals. Um, as you can see right now, we're in uh, the gas mask. Uh, mode. All right now, coming not, through. Not the most useful. Uh, not the most useful way to see the game. 
Thankfully, we only uh, you only have to deal with that gas mask this maybe one other oh, yeah. time. Yeah, that's my baby. It's pretty Ready underused. Ready for some serious damage now. Even though uh, chemical warfare was uh, actually pretty proficient, prolific, I should say, yeah, prolific in uh, World War One with the introduction of you know mustard gas. And uh, I'll, tr I'll try not to feign being too knowledgeable about World War One. I'm not really. Even though I can easily point out that um, you mostly just fight Germans in this game, oh, which mother of God, the uh, hell is happening? People just can't stop hating Germans. But you know there were plenty of other countries that fought during World War One, especially you know the Ottoman Empire and the Turks, things like that. And obviously, yeah, I mean you're you're still just the allied side is still just the Americans and British because that's how every war is. Electricity? What's that for? Keep something out? Or to keep something in? Yep, that's a, that's a thought. Very deep. So, as we continue through the stage here, we should actually uh, be getting out of the trenches soon into, thankfully, even more confined spaces. Which... What uh, what uh, FPS is right. Perhaps it should or, stay closed. I see you're having a busy day too. Which uh, FPS doesn't really benefit from enclosed hallways, right? Um. So uh, let yeah. there be we light. actually uh, reach our first enemy that can't Last be got him. easily well cooked. Uh, taken and easy down on the by onions. Uh, All right, I can use this. Firearms. You actually have to use an explosive of some sort, such but as. A lamp. Yes, uh, you don't really get a lot of light sources. There's no flashlight in the game. Uh, there's more random lamps strewn about that you can uh, pick up and use as grenades. Uh, not the best grenades, mind you, but uh, they will light things on fire or light your way, if ever need be the case. Whoa, look out. That was frightening. What the hell was yeah, that? This game really isn't scary by any measure. It's not, you know, monster closet scary. It's oh my not, God. hey, there's a mystery the scary. Dead. It's They're for real. Hey, you're Jeez. nigh on invincible. Where are Here's you some ugly recovering bastards life. coming from? You have bullet time. And, you know, you're, you're God, basically. It seriously takes a lot to die in this game. But uh, now we actually get our first real look at uh, the base zombies that we'll, uh, we'll be seeing quite a bit of through the next couple of stages. Not, uh, not the most dangerous. They can kind of overwhelm. They can randomly run at you, but uh, kind of making short really work of people. them here. Or have I started to hallucinate? Uh, using quite uh, frequently the, the kick, as you can see, which these is things, very, just, very powerful. Uh, just in my head. Most, uh, most base enemies can my hands. easily be knocked over with the with the kick and I guess they saw me coming. quickly dispatched on the ground. It makes most of the enemies in the game kind of trivial. The only time it doesn't really work in your favor is just when there's when there's multiple things in front of you. It just becomes kind of a jumble fuck. So we're now just continuing through... I don't I want... Not really a cave system, not really trenches either, just... kind of dug out tunnels for... moving about. You don't give me a uh, using the trench gun now, the, uh, the game's shotgun. It's quite powerful, especially in comparison to the... Uh, base rifle and pistol that you get. It's, uh, it's pretty forgiving with the, with the spread. And uh, it's pretty, pretty fucking easy to it's get to uh, headshots. It's been a tough day already. Don't make it and any worse. Wee, that was beautiful. Now, oddly enough, um, here I, uh, I'm trying to pick this weapon up because this is a weapon you get later on, but it seems uh, the game is very adamant about me uh, not getting that weapon before I should. Not pretty, not smart. <laughs> That'll do for me. Oh, you jokester. I don't know if he was thinking about having sex with a corpse. 
Oh, look at that wonderful, really hard to find secret. Yeah, that is right around the corner. That's a uh, secret, all right. This game, uh, thankfully, does away with one of the major problems in painkiller. Yeah, making uh, secrets pretty easy to find as opposed to hitting away in on the here, butt crack but I'm some sure gonna find out. explodable wall with push boxes. Sometimes I'll just be where you actually need to go to complete the level. So What's it's this? An angel? Really a secret. So uh, here we are in the final not. arena of the first stage. We uh, we apparently have to defeat a wizard. Um, how we know it's a wizard? Um, not really certain. Maybe wizards are more commonplace and known in World War One. Uh, but. This this boss fight uh, might confuse some in the beginning, I suppose, just because you're going to want to fight the wizard as opposed to uh, taking care of all these hordes that keep appearing. The thing is, though, that the wizard is actually bulletproof as of right now. He's uh, he's going to uh, he's going to be popping up later on, but uh, as of right now. You actually need to take care of these enemy forces that he's spawning in. They are actually what will lower the On life the ground, bar of in the, the air. Boss Where's a man supposed to spin. hide? Um, it's not really too hard. It's more base zombie, heavy armored machine gun, zombie, I guess. It's really hard to tell if he's a zombie. And these uh, flying fiery tooth. Manta rays? Yeah, they don't. They don't really make a lot of sense, and they're kind of a pain in the ass to hit. They don't have the best hitbox, and hitting them with something other than a machine gun or a uh, a shotgun proves to be very, very, very tedious. But I think we're uh, we're down to the last one, and. Uh, yeah, now the, the wizard is uh, defenseless, and that's the level. Bullets can't get through that shield. Gonna have to get close to take him down. Yeah, nice me.